this little video is all about what the plectrum does to a string and indeed it, it's the same as what happens with a, uh, a nail when you're using classical technique. What actually happens to a string when you strike it? I'm going to talk about plectrum because I think you know in web land that is a fairly major interest. Um, using this posture in the hope that you will be able to see what's going on a bit better. What happens when I strike a string? Um, if you look at the other video you'll see that it's all about this 20 degree angle between string and forearm. Um, what happens is that the leading edge of the plectrum touches against the string and then it acts as what engineers call a cam, so I'm told. Uh, what happens is the edge of the plectrum is pushing against the string and because it's at an angle to the string the string gets forced downwards as the plectrum slides over the string. This pushes the string in towards the guitar. Then when the, the plectrum finally comes out of the way, the string is free to vibrate upwards. So that the string ends up vibrating this way, not that way. That makes a thin, yucky turn. So it's really a cam. You kind of brush the string rather than pulling it. You push the string in towards the guitar. If I show you this in a sort of larger scale, pretend this pencil is in fact a string, the plectrum edge strikes against the string like this. And that means that as the edge pushes on the string, the edge of the plectrum pushes on the string, it pushes the plectrum down then the plectrum comes out of the way and the string is free to vibrate up and down in this direction. We don't want to push the string sideways and then have to move the plectrum out of the way and let it go. The cam is a far more efficient mechanical method. And that's what happens to a guitar string when you do it right. Good luck. <laughs>